Hey there, this is Harsh from Shout Me Loud and today we are going to learn something very useful. But before we do that, tell me one thing, how are you doing? Are you like in the state of mind where you want to learn something new? Where you want to make money from the blog? If yes, let's get on because what I'm going to share with you is going to change the way you look at the money, look at the advertisement online. Okay, tell me one thing. Uh, how many times this thing happened to you? Like you went to a website and after that, whenever you went to any other website, be it Facebook, be it my website or any other website, you see the same ad following you there. It's like the ad is following you wherever you go. If that happened to you, that is called ad retargeting. And do you know that the major value of that kind of ad from the marketing point of view, from an advertiser point of view, Number one, since I'm showing the same ad to you for a page that you already visited, the chances of chances of conversion is pretty high. Uh, from the marketing perspective, the budget, uh, the cost for me is pretty low. At the same time, uh, the conversion would go really high. Now, here's the thing. Can you do that on your blog? And today I'm going to share something exclusively that which is going to change the way you make money. I mean, you can use it to promote any product. You can use it to um, sell your own stuff and within next half an hour. So let's go, go ahead and make sure that you're up for learning something new. This is going to be exciting. There is, there is very less of tech stuff involved here. We'll be using Facebook ads for creating retargeted ads. So this is how it's going to work. Number one, we'll be creating an audience on Facebook. Facebook will give us a few lines of code that we need to add on our blog. Once the once we have added the code on our blog, now Facebook will create an audience uh, based on those people, I mean, who have visited our website. And from there, we can advertise anything to these people. Hey guys, so let's get on with this tutorial and learn something awesome today. So the very first thing that we'll be doing, we'll be going to our Facebook uh, audience manager page. I've added all the required links in the description. So, you know, for now, just follow the video, understand how everything is working. And later on, you can, uh, you can just follow all the links in the description and get things done for you. So the very first thing that we'll be doing, will be creating an audience. So, uh, I've already created one audience for shout me loud. Let me create a new audience. Uh, in this case, I'm targeting this blog called shout me Hindi. Uh, so click on custom audience. The option that we are interested in is website traffic. This will give us a pixel that we have to add it on our blog. So click on website traffic. Um, you, now this is where things get interesting as you can make, uh, you can collect information from a specific page or your complete domain, or you can have certain things like people who have visited website a but haven't website uh, haven't visited website b so you can have a lot of condition here uh, which you can use to make your list more targeted so what i'll be doing i'll be selecting people visited specific web page but not others and i'll explain you why i'm doing that so url contains so this is the website for which i'm planning to create a custom audience on facebook and i will exclude audience who visited my shoutmeloud.com the reason being uh, i don't want to target those people who actually seen my launch blog post and visiting shout me hindi just to see it my idea is to target those people who are coming naturally from search engine or social media site and target them with uh, so i can boost my blog post to them and that will increase a lot of reach now and now this is interesting uh, so basically once you set up all this thing facebook will keep updating your list based on the rules so by default it suggests like uh, you know it will create a list of people who have visited your site in past 30 days you can change this to maximum for 180 days what i prefer i prefer to keep it 90 days and that's it let's keep give it a name shout me hindi FB retargeting. That's it. And let's click on create audience. Now the next thing that we need to do is install the pixel. So uh, let me just select 
this one and click on action view pixel so this is the pixel which I need to install on my blog uh, which you need to install on your blog you can do that using any good plugin uh, what I recommend and what I use personally is Google Tag Manager this is completely free and makes the site uh, management pretty easy uh, if you haven't done that here is how you can do that I, I have this guide written for Google Tag Manager you can follow it and implement Google Tag Manager on your website so basically what it does is like let's say you want to add a specific tags like this uh, for example in this case Facebook ad tag or Google analytic tag on your pages instead of editing your theme or using any third-party plugin you can manage everything from Google Tag Manager dashboard so let's say here I go to shout me Hindi that's my uh, shout me Hindi tag manager and here you can see uh, I already have few tags the, right now I only have one tag that is Google Analytic tags so if I need to make any changes or add a new tag I can do it right from Google Tag Manager instead of going into my website editing the theme and you know getting into too much technical thing so if you have not implemented Google Tag Manager I would recommend do that right away it will hardly take five minutes and there are good WordPress plugin out there so now uh, let's say let's go back to the overview and click on new tag now here uh, they have already suggested few product the Facebook ad is not listed here so what we'll do we'll click on custom HTML tag uh, so I've already copied the pixels I've just pasted it here and click on continue now this is important where do you want to fire this uh, tag now if you can fire this tag on specific pages on your website from Google Tag Manager or you can fire it on all the pages let's use it all pages reason being uh, when I was creating the ad on Facebook Tag Manager from here I can actually specify if I want to attract uh, pixels on specific pages or on all the pages of my website so I won't let uh, so I'll configure that from my Facebook ad manager now once that is done click on create tag uh, so the tag has been created but it's still unpublished if you, if you see here uh, it's seeing unpublished changes click on publish and publish now so this will create a new uh, version of your container and that's it the tag is already live on your website and now it will take some time uh, so basically Facebook starts tracking uh, you know starts creating the list once you have reached to uh, 20 people once you once your list or uh, once your audience have list at least 20 people in the ads so this will take time this is ongoing process but now what you can do you can go ahead create an ad let's say boost your post and so th uh, this won't work right now but this will still give an idea so let's say I've selected this particular post continue campaign name be and anything and this is where I can target for let's say this is my shout me in the FB retargeting this is what I've created that's it I can just create I can target any of my post with this particular audience which I've created now imagine the you know the power of this like you can use it to promote your blog post to the audience back to back as it is Facebook natural reach is like dying but we can't ignore the importance of that can we so this is one way to fix that plus you know if you create an audience for a specific website and you know that audience is let's say interested in computers you can show uh, uh, show some great deal ads to them and the conversion would be really good so these are few things that you can do with this ads in the upcoming videos I'll show you what else you can do with the Facebook retargeted ads for now let me know how, uh, how did you like this video if you have any question or suggestion let me know in the comment section uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such updates and you can check out shoutmeloud.com for more such tutorials on digital marketing this was this is Harsh goodbye <laughs>